Welcome back to the Realist Channel on YouTube. I have a special guest today. As we know, the YouTube boxing scene is hot, it's heated, and it continues this weekend with the main event being Austin McBroom versus Gibb. But we have another massive fight. Is it a co-main? I'm going to ask the G right now. Is it a co-main? Nah, nah. They said it was supposed to be co-main, but they got the same well, trainers. It's the co-main in my mind. It's the co-main in my mind. <laughs> my yeah. brother. So we've got Landon McBroom versus Adam Seller. Now, I also have the G on the phone right now. So what are we saying, my guy? Are you good? My brother, how's it going? Wagwan, Wagwan, man. Hey, uh, hey, first of all, hey. I just want to say, <laughs> yo, my thoughts and prayers to the Queen, man. I, it's a lot going on in the UK right now with the Queen. Listen, bro, it's crazy. Everyone was just living life, doing what they're doing. But now that's happened. You know, everyone has to yeah. show their respects, they show their condolences. And it means a lot of change for the UK. So everyone's just, you know, showing their that's respect sad. to the yeah, queen. But who's the, what's ha what happens now? Like, what happens so now? So now we have, um, we're going to have King Charles. Oh, King Charles. So, so that's yeah. So it's crazy because it's only been, queens for like the past how many years and now we're going back wow. into a king leadership wow. so it's, wow. it's a bit crazy but no honestly all That's thoughts fine. with the royal family and condolences That's to fine. them That's on the loss of the queen now let's get into your business what you're focused on right now Hell how, yeah, are how are you feeling how are you feeling oh the best that i've ever felt honestly like this is the best camp that I that I went through, the best feeling. This is the heaviest actually that I've been in my life. The heaviest. I weigh what 152 you, pounds. 152 okay. pounds right now. Yeah. And he's gonna come out in like like 11 pounds more than me, like 163. I and mean, this is a real, like a real fight on box rec. So I was literally just with the commission. And then um I had to gain weight, literally eight protein shakes, held mm -hmm. my piss. You know, they keep checking my yeah. weight. So I have to, yeah, I have to stay up, you know, and uh it's annoying, man. I don't know how I deal with it, how your pros deal with this, bro, man. Bro, you know, listen, normally we're not fighting people 11 pounds heavier than us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair. But you're doing it, so it's it's respects. And uh, I know the, the build-up, these guys haven't been the most professional. I've heard Gibbs been complaining to me. He's been telling me how they are, you know what I'm saying? And then you got yeah. your, yourself as well. I've yeah. seen that uh, Landon didn't turn up to the face-off. Like, how it's has it been weird. working with social yeah. gloves, man? Man, it's 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 like all it's like a disaster, honestly. This week, they made <laughs> me drive. They made me drive an hour and a half. Then my opponent didn't even show up, and I'm they didn't give me no excuse. I'm like, what's going on? And today he was so like, oh, go. something came you know, up. You know, it's like it's it's weird, man. Really, really weird because I, I seen you know the last Misfits event it was beautiful. Mm. It, it looked amazing, but I I don't see the McBrooms promoting at all you know I, I don't see them at all they don't want to show no videos of them training no they they, they say that uh, they don't want to share secrets but it's like yo you see the best of the best uh posting their video you see Ooh, canelo okay. posting videos of himself you see mm. anthony joshua posting videos of him and pads tyson fury mm. they always post who are they you know like mcbroom's not posting like it's, it's weird they're not promoting it properly they, not promoting they definitely it properly. they've definitely social gloves whoever you want to put it down to mcbroom whoever they have done a poor job promoting the fight. Um, from the fight being, obviously the fight was postponed. We know why that happened. But then yeah. since then, there's been no energy to try and make sure people buy again, to make sure people yes. want to go to the event, to make sure people want to watch the event. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I haven't definitely. seen no one pushing it. Yeah, but, and, and it's like they ruin it for themselves because like the pay-per-view, you know, they could be making millions for them in pay-per-views but it is, it's, i'm in there to fight give them the ass whooping you know what i'm saying and just go on to the next listen that's what at the end of the day you got one job you got one job and that job is yeah. to make sure you smoke him so yeah you Most know and every, all, all the other stuff is all the distraction it's all put in your way to to make your yeah. performance worse but you can't let that happen you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I, but I, no, wanted to ask you anyway. I, went, I wanted to ask you a question, a few questions, yeah. actually. Going yeah. back now, I know you were supposed to fight Patrice Evra, right? Yeah. So in the UK, obviously, that was a big deal to us because soccer, football, that's the biggest sport yeah. out here. And he played football. for Man United. He played for Manchester United when they were last good. So it was a big deal. How comes that fight didn't 
didn't come through. So so that fight was was co-main. That fight was also co-main. But something happened with the main event. People were like that that Hulk guy, Iranian Hulk, he wasn't allowed in the UK. So mm -hmm. they literally just shut down the whole the whole event. Like it's not easy, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like obviously misfits they made it look so easy and crazy, but it's very hard to pull out a whole event and with proper production and uh you know pay-per-view. So it yeah. ended up being postponed. They're still telling me like, oh, fall, like November. October, so I might still fight him after. Okay. But I'm, okay. Um, yeah, so, so I'm just I'm just focused on landing now, but I'm still um, probably, like, going to fight him, Patrick, because he wants to box. I spoke to his team, and they told me that he, he wants to box because he wants to try new things or something like that. I'm in L.A., by the way. Look at this. Yeah, I see L.A., bro. L.A. is <laughs> it always looking fly. It's expensive as hell, but it's... <laughs> yeah. Well, now, nah, U.K. is more expensive. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. It is. Nah, it, the pounds cost a lot, man. Like, you go to Starbucks, it's like five pounds. It's like ten dollars. LA be breaking my pockets. Maybe it's the way I'm living. Maybe it's the way I'm trying to live. <laughs> oh, wait, how's how's how is Slim anyway? I see Slim there. Slim is doing how's good. Slim is here right now. Slim, say what up, man. Yo, Some of the champs is out here. Hold on, hold on, Abu Faze. Don't call it Abu Faze, man. Oh, Abu Faze. Abu Faze, is that it? Abu Listen, you had a nice. Hey, your knockout. I ain't spoken to you since. That was impressive. Oh, yeah. I got props. That's what's up. man. Seriously, down, respect we, we respect you, your, like, your Come boxing on, career and everything. Yeah, like, coming from you, yeah, man. and even your you thoughts fast, on boxing. You're a big guy. Your footwork is smooth. I, lo I love the way you fight, bro. Seriously, man. I have that Thank you, man. Things, Listen, bear love, man. What were you two been sparring? You've been sparring. Uh, have you been sparring? He, he's still training on it. He's still, he's, he's still training. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Have, been, have, next you, have you been sparring each other? I mean, have you been sparring Yeah, I helped him out in sparring. Yeah, I helped him out in sparring. He helped me out. Landon's a bigger guy, so I've been sparring with him, working with him. And Adam, Adam... He's quick as fuck, bro. I'm telling you. He's hard to touch. He's hard to touch. He's not easy to land on. So, uh, it's a good fight, bro. It's a great fight. No, I'm excited, man. Hey, Slim, you're doing your thing, bro. I'm excited to see you back in the ring. I'm excited oh, to man. see Adam in the ring. He, he, got the, he finally got the stage to, like, show his skills, man. Because a lot of people underestimated Slim. But all of us in Brooklyn, we knew, like, what Slim has. You know, he has that charisma. You know, the entertainment. And, like, uh, and he got, you know, the... The skills in in there, the power, you know. And my boy Adam will do his thing on Saturday night. I'm telling you, bro. Inshallah, come on, you come on. Now, you know, it's good to see. For a shot. <laughs> it's good to see, you know, brotherhood within the boxing game. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people in the boxing game, it's all brother, egos, man. it's all opponents, it's all. You yeah. know what I'm saying. But to see people rolling together and backing one another, man, that's always a a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it's about, man. Boxing, <laughs> the opposite of boxing is love. So, it, for real. Yeah, you know how 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 confident you feeling, man, for Saturday? How confident you feeling? I feel I feel super confident, man. So confident to the point where like his face might be like, oh man, his face is gonna be bruised up. I'm gonna give him like <laughs> an whooping that his father never gave him before. So I'm uh yeah, I, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Like you know, and especially that I've been getting a little like mad. They haven't been showing up to the. They haven't been promoting properly, They're treating yeah. me like. I'm some kind of like, like you know, like what, like I'm just the bottom of their shoe, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. He, he's been showing respect to me. He hasn't been talking shit. So I'm a, I respect him outside of the ring, but in the ring, he's going to be no respect. I'm going to go in there and I'm going I'm to show out. I'm going to show out. Good, good. I heard him say today uh, about him being bigger than you, stronger than you, faster than you, all of this stuff. But obviously he's supposed to say that. Like the thing with boxing, and these press yeah. conferences and stuff. When people be saying these things, I'm like, what else do you expect the guy to say? A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. You know, they're, um, uh, as Mike Tyson said, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody has a plan until they get hit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a plan until they get hit. It's facts. What's the fight schedule for? What, what's yeah. the, how many rounds you do? It's going to be four rounds, three minutes. Four rounds, three minutes. Four, three yeah. minutes. And you feeling yeah. fit, yeah? You feeling more than I, I mean, I, I am the heaviest... That, I, that I've been right now, but mm. I feel good. You know, I've gotten used to it. I feel like since it got postponed, it got me a little better. I'm used to like my weight. So it, it just feels weird being this way. My last fight, I was 140. The fight before that, I was like 135. The fight before that, I was like 130. So it feels Is weird it being this weight, way. Is it good weight? It's good weight, yeah. It's good weight. Yeah. I, I'm looking beefy and bulky, you know? So okay. it's, uh, <laughs> it's good weight. Yeah, I you see you. I see you. Yeah. I see you, man. No, that's it. And what, what, um, what did you think of the 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 Misfits show? Who who impressed you the most on the on the Misfits boxing show? 
So I, I already knew Slim is gonna like piece up and knock out. I, I was saying third round knockout for Slim, but he didn't end up doing yeah. the second round knockout. Um, yeah. uh, who else impressed me? I, I like Soap so Poppy was good too. Soap Poppy was really yeah. good. He's been he's getting a, a lot of he's been getting a lot of credit lately. Yeah, you know, he's been getting, but I feel like he still needs a, a a little challenge. You know, like me, like when Slim, when Slim had a fight with his other opponents that weren't as good, you know, people mm. were hating on him. Like, oh, like he's fighting like a bum. True, when so that's Poppy, true. Yeah, you know, when so Bobby fights someone who's whatever, everyone is like, whoa, he's nice. But I still feel like we got to see more. We got to see more of that. No, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense for sure. You see anybody on that card you looking like you want to step in with? Like, I know uh, Dean the Great. Was he, yeah, you know, he, same thing, same, same thing, same thing with him too. I, I feel like you know they they need a they're fighting the bumps, chest. man. They're fighting bumps. Yeah. They still need to like to fight. You know I, the people that I fought, I fought MMA fighter. I fought someone who uh, amateur boxer who went to the Golden Gloves twice. My last mm -hmm. opponent was heavier than me. Like everyone I've been fighting is like a challenge. It's not like just someone there to like the, to just to beat up, get in there know? with yeah. Most I, definitely. I know. But, yeah. No. No, 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 no. This is good. This is this is this is exciting. What's your what's your views on the main event? What are you thinking about the main event? Uh, Gibb and Austin. Austin and Gibb. I feel like I'm a. It's gonna be a tough match. I feel like if Gibb catches it's, him on the chin, if Gibb yeah. catches him on the chin, it's over for Austin. But Austin got the athleticism and stuff, so and the speed, so it's, it's 50, 50 for me, 50, 50 for me. But for me. For me, I'd say I'd say a 60-40. The only reason why I say it's 60-40 to give is because to give, to give. Just yeah. because I don't because I, I guess I've managed to see his preparation. I'm I've actually yeah. seen how he's prepared. So because I know he's dedicated his life, like he shut down his life to make sure he's yeah. prepared for this fight. Yeah. I, that's why I give him a bit more um going into the fight. I think Austin. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if he can take punches. I don't know if he wants to be in the deep end. I, I, I think he's a bit of an on-top fighter. I feel like he has an on-top yeah. personality. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm, I'm going for him. Uh, I want Gip to win. I, I really want. I really want Gip to win. So I'm, uh, I'm going for him. But um, I, I hope he catches him and, and surprises a lot of people because I feel like you know here in LA right now everyone thinks Austin is gonna win. But I feel mm. like Gip has a chance. He has, a, he has a big chance like, to win. Headphones or something. No, no I, I agree. Sorry, <laughs> And sorry. Just, oh man, no. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm not, they're telling me like I need help, but I'm kind of loud. <laughs> <laughs> so what? How? Um, what was I gonna say? What you been? What you been doing? Uh, uh, besides boxing, obviously camp is intense. We're always boxing most of the time. We're we're dieting. We're, we're watching film. But when you're not doing that, how have you been using your downtime to try and keep some sort of level mind? You know, not get too. Yeah one way you know what i'm saying yeah I, I, i've been with them uh my family you know my family mm. i have a lot of nieces and nephews my friends i just hang out with them i haven't even been uploading i'm focusing on uploading after i need to get this win he's heavier and, and i need to make a statement you know I, I feel like a lot of people they, they talk hate on me talk a lot of crap about me but I, i'm I, I need to show out and make a statement so i'm taking it serious and uh to take my mind off i just hang out with my family and my friends now they're telling me to put a mask yeah. on <laughs> <laughs> no, so what you guys are still heavy on the mask out there man some places yeah they're telling us like even with the commission they made us wear masks and gloves you know what i'm saying one one five five four yeah you, yeah you can't be you can't be too safe i guess you can't be too safe yeah man yeah man. and we know we know that also on the card i see slim earlier in the week on your story yeah. i think when um london didn't turn up to the face to face and yeah. he was saying, what's wrong with these West Coast, man? I know you're representing the East on the show. You're representing the East. 100%. I'm representing the East Coast. I don't know. They're trying to sell it like a East Coast, West Coast thing. But I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, hold up. Please. But I'm, uh, yeah, now to me, it's, I, I'm, I'm just representing, you know, myself, my country, Yemen. Of course, you know, Yemen. Of course, of course. And I'm, uh, East Coast too, you know, like there's better fighters in the East Coast than the West Coast. Look at Tank Davis, hey. look at Ryan hey. Garcia. Who you think hey. will win that fight? Tank Davis or Ryan Garcia? Tank, I'm going with Tank. Come on, you know, Tank is from the East Coast. We're built different in the East Coast. I don't know if you know about America, but like in America, like the West Coast people, they, uh, I'm talking shit about West Coast in front of so many West Coast people. I know, I'm thinking this guy's sitting in the middle of LA talking <laughs> shit. 
about LA and oh, West Coast beef. Yeah, What's wrong with really right <laughs> But people here that they grew up with like houses, mansions, pool in the backyard. You know, beautiful weather. You different. know, yeah, it's we different. didn't have it's like, New York is kind of like London. You know, we had like we grew up in like you got to start from the bottom. This project, right. cold weather. You know, like you know, like people. Like, it, it's hard. You know, you you got to work hard to where you want to get to. You know. No, of course, of course, of course, and and you know, if, okay, um, okay. yeah, yeah, but that, they, they're gonna get me off. Like, I'm gonna give it to Slim. I'm gonna give it to Slim. Yeah, Slim. All right, all right, all take all me right, in right, right now. Right. Yeah, right. Someone's no, interested now, man. Come take on, it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah flake on me, bro. Hey, right, Slim, what am I getting? I'm getting I'm a two and one every day. I'm getting a two and one interview. to see my interview, and it wasn't there. <laughs> What's going on, Vidal? Bro, yeah, the me. audio, the audio was me even mad. Oh man, it was a good interview too, but it's all good. But now we got one here now. We're here. I got you here. I got you here. We're a, we're doing a quick a quick virtual thing now. But um, yes. how are you feeling since your win, man? Bro, I feel amazing, bro. You know what it is? It's kind of like I visualize everything before it happens, bro. You know what I mean? It's like the way I explain it is like you know when you watch a movie a million times. Like when I was training mm. for the fight for two weeks, I was doing my jogs. I was getting emotional thinking about the victory. So it's like I watched the movie a million times, getting the knockout. But it's like everybody, the, the premiere was on the 27th and everybody watched the movie with me. You get me? And just seeing everybody's reaction right. was perfect. Right. So that's how it felt like, bro. That's exactly how it felt like. Do you think, I, when I was watching the fight, I felt like, I don't know, I felt like you were kind of playing with him a little bit until you decided to really open up. Do you feel that you could have got him out there? Obviously, you got him out in round two, but I mean, you think you could have attacked him like that sooner or do you think it came at the right time? Um, You know what it is? I probably could have got him out there sooner, but you notice I just wanted, I, I was playing it safe, you know, because when you're in there okay. with a much larger man, he's much bigger than of course, of course. you. You always got to be mm. smart with it for everything because, you know, Excuse yeah. Me. Should I ask you to take that outside or else put on All right, huh. or She's kicking me out right now. Why are you kicking me out? <laughs> this is racism right now, man. <laughs> this is racism. I'm, I'm doing an interview. Say what up to Fidel. Hello. 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 Say hi to Fidel. <laughs> hello, hello. Yo, you got any questions for the lady? Racist, no, no, man. she's kicking you out, man. I'm not trying to upset her over Zoom and that, man. It's cool. I'm too loud. Cool. God damn. This is one of the funniest interviews man has done for sure. Yeah, bro, what's going on? Why are you kicking me out like that, bro? I feel, I feel offended. <laughs> but, yeah. but, you know, you said you was in there with a bigger man. You played it safe, but when you saw the opening, you took it. Yeah, you know what it was? Uh, I was playing it safe, and then I, I noticed when I, every time I put pressure on him, bro, like, mm. he did not know what to do. So I, I, was, I was, you know, I was right. moving my head, getting into range, and I cracked him with a one big right hook, and he wobbled. I saw him wobble. As soon as he wobbled, I just jumped on him. Jumped, jumped on, him. on him. You did. You right did. away, I gave him no chance to spit, and I caught him with the right hook right in the chin. Exactly how I thought I was going to get him, right in the chin. It was exciting to see. It was definitely one of the knockouts of the night. For sure. It was definitely one of the knockouts of the night. And nah, it should have been, been knockout of the night. Being the underdog, bro, it should have been knockout of the night, honestly. Of the night. You think, who, who, who do you think got knockout of the night? Who do you think deserved knockout of the me, night? Yourself? Me, you don't me think, honestly. You don't think, you don't think Salt Pappy's KO was cold? No, nah, it, it was cool, definitely. But, you know, like like you said, the level, you remember you made a video on me? The level of opposition? You said the same yeah. thing. So keep it real, Vidal, keep it real. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, listen, don't try, listen, listen, listen. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that your knockout wasn't cold. I'm, I'm just saying the way that so Pappy done it so quickly. I but think I, I knocked I gave out NNA so quickly too. I knocked him out in 30 seconds. That's true. That's and then true. I got hate Listen, for it. I got hate for it. I got hate for it, bro. I got hate for winning in 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Well, he, he shouldn't be in the ring. Bro, and guess what? I have no background. So I've been boxing since 10. I have no mm. background in boxing, bro. I've been boxing fully. Like, Who's you only got my first fight? One month of training. I beat him. No, you, no, no, no. This it's a hundred percent. You've been given a hard time for no reason when a lot of other people have done the similar things and been given less stress. That's a fact. Yeah. We're gonna say that on the realist channel. That is a yeah. fact. They got but put now on you're shining now. You're shining now. Let's go. Well, what, what, what? how do you want the shine to who how do you want the shine to continue? Who do you want to fight? Bro, I, I, honestly, man, I, I have a whole list right now. I have mad opportunity coming. I have so many like, bro, you know they were trying to get me to fight Nick Young on on, on the social. Oh, the, the Swaggy P, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Swaggy P, bro. I'm, I love Swaggy P. I grew up watching. I'm a big basketball fan. Same, you know? same, same, same. Yeah. yeah so uh, it, it was crazy. Like I said, I was down. I was on Austin. I'm down and shit. But he was. They, they hit me up with such a low offer. I'm like, bro, my stock is crazy high right now. But y'all hey. hit me with peanuts, bro. They hit me with peanuts. He I'm like, bro, yesterday's price. Is not Ain't today's, today's price. <laughs> bro, he got a fucking diamond on his tooth and he's offering me peanuts to fight Nick Young as co-main event, bro. Come on. You can't be cheap like that, bro. Come on, son. 
Like, they know what I bring to the table and and everything, bro. You can't be cheap like that, bro. Fuck that. No, I hear you. I hear you. You got to stick with the mis- misfits, then. You know, you got to stick with the the people that yeah, are yeah. gonna that are gonna pay. You yeah, man. But my next fight, bro. My next fight is gonna be something personal. It's something. It's. it's, it's, it's I'm gonna get out. Of, I'm gonna get out of my way. Uh, I'm gonna fight again next month. I'm gonna get the shit out of my way because it's been something. Uh, next burnt. month. Uh, yeah, next month. You know what I'm saying? Got to be back in <laughs> action. I'm in action, bro. That's it. I wanna say action. What's your, what's your What's your prediction for the main event? Uh, Gib and McBroom, uh, Austin McBroom. All right, yo. I, let me tell you something about Gib. I like Gib because I kind of see a lot of myself in him. You know, some dude that's always mm. underestimated. He, he has a mm. passion for the sport. He loves boxing. He works very hard. So I see myself a lot. Nice. He's Arab as well. He's Arab as well. So, like, we have so much similarities. I see a lot of myself in him. But Austin McBroom, he's he's very naturally talented. You know, like, there's always those guys mm. that are just naturally skilled, naturally talented. But Gib works harder. And I think hard work could beat skilled people when talent fails to work hard. You get me? Right. So... I, I can see it's like a 50, 50 fight for me, but it can go either way, honestly. It literally can go either way. Like, I don't know. It, it is a I'm close honestly. one. Yes, it again? is a close one. It's a close one. Like, but that's why we're tuning in. The reason why we're tuning in is because we want to see a competitive fight. The thing that was good about the Misfit show is there was a lot of fights on there that were competitive. Gibb versus Austin is, I just think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how hard Austin works. I, I, I don't have an insight into his count, but I know how hard Gibb works. And what you said about the hard work beating, beating talent, I feel like Gibb's going to just be too much. I think, I think Austin ain't going to be able to go into the deep waters with him. But, well, Austin, too, one thing about him, like he, he has good footwork. He's, mm. he's good timing. His timing is good. Mm. Like, shit like that takes into effect. You know what I mean? Course, so, like, course, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess it, it depends if Austin could catch Gibb ca- coming in. But Gibb does look very sharp now. He's actually sharp. Before, he wasn't sharp like that. He was he's never sharp. sharp. Now. He's yeah. sharp now. He actually, like, before, he kind of used to push with the punches. But now he's actually, like, sharp. Like, he's hitting the pads nicely, you know? Like, he looks strong and stuff. So, I respect the grind, bro. I can't wait to spot. I'm actually really excited for this. It's, it's good. I want, I want it to come out of there, man. I want it to come out of there, but... You know, things just be getting messed up and it's long. It's long. It's I want to ask, you, ask you one more question before you go. Yeah, yeah. What did you think of JJ's performances? What do you think of KSI's two performances on the Misfit show? Yo, I love KSI, first of all, I just want to say that. Like, he gave me this opportunity. I, I never going to forget as, that. As so, I. From the bottom yeah. of my heart, bro, I never going to forget that shit, like what he done for me, you know? But if mm-hmm. we talk in boxing, you know, you got to keep it real, right? Mm, that, of course. Yeah, we're talking boxing. We always got to keep it real. I, I, I think personally, if I was in the ring with both of his opponents, I'll knock them both them out one round. I think one round is all I need for both of them, the guys he fought. You know what I'm saying? Like with Swarms, like Swarms, like Swarms was ass. Everybody knew that. But like the fact that he went two rounds with him, I'm like, that's kind of crazy mm. to me. Like, because he didn't cut off the ring well. Like he was following him in the same circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if, uh, I, I even said that in my reaction. I said that in my yeah, reaction. Yeah. I said he was following him. You yeah, know. like, you, know what I'm you got to cut him off and then. Bang, you know what I'm saying? He's following him in the same circle. Like, he's making the same movement, going the same. Like, you know, you got to, you got to, good fighters always adapt. You always got to adapt yeah. to your opponent. You got to, good fighters always adapt. So, I feel like he didn't, like, maybe it's he's ring rust and stuff, but he didn't adapt. That's the thing. Well. I, I, that's the thing. I, I was, fit. I went, we can put it down to, we can always put it down to ring rust the first fights, few fights back, or the first fight back, but we want to see more next time. I want to see more from him next time. I'm glad he's back in the ring. But I definitely want to see more. Uh, who do you want to see him against next? Hey, he, he mentioned my name, by the way. He mentioned my name as he one did. of the people. He said, That's Slim, great. I want a piece of that. He said, Slim, hey, I want a piece is, of that. I, I would love it. That would be sick, bro. Because I was sharing the ring with KSI. would be legendary, bro. Like, that's something people are going to remember for forever. Because KSI... Bro, he's like he's like a YouTube Hall of Famer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he's, he's done for YouTube. He's, a, he's one of the GOATs. He's on the Mount yeah. Rushmore. Yeah. Telling me. 100%. Like, and I, I 100% said to Like, the fact... If I get to share the ring with him, bro, that's like... I'm remembered as one of the goats, like for like the Middle Eastern world, which is dope. Like, you know what I mean? So I would love for that. So, but KSI, like, I like to see him against me. I like to see him against Austin. I would like to see him against Jake Paul in the future. That'll be dope. Uh, who else did you mention? Andrew Tate. I told him I, I mentioned him in person. I'm like, oh, Andrew Tate. That'll be fire. Like him, and Andrew Tate. Hey, sick. Andrew Tate. That's that's a guy that is he's 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 cool. He's most wanted. He's got a bounty. He's got bounties on his head. People yeah. people want him. People want Andrew Tate. He had fifty. Kickboxing matches, though, right? He said yeah, he yeah, had yeah. fifty kickboxing matches, but doesn't he have a problem with his eye? I don't think he can. I, I like think he, he mentioned he was going to fight KSI. 
he mentioned about fight, talking about KS, uh, fighting KSI. I said, I'll fuck with you, KSI, something like that. Like, he was saying some shit like that. So that's that. another good fight. Yeah, fight coming up. Uh, yeah. Thank you, bro. But yeah. Um, Jeez, is that you, yeah? I can't I can't even walk out in public no more, man. Shit. Yo, chill, chill. Jeez. All the girls coming on me. Yo, chill. I got to <laughs> tell you, chill out, bro. Too hey, many. Hey. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go, my brother. I'm gonna let you go. But I think this was a good this was a blessing as well, man. I expected to just get to talk to Adam real quick, but to have you jump on the call as well, a one, two and one for the realist channel, we appreciate it. Hey, appreciate you, Dal, man. I got yeah. mad love for you. Seriously. All right, listen, when you're back in the UK, shop, man, we'll link up. Definitely, bro, definitely. I'll be back yeah. next month. All right, shop me, G. My guy, bro. Peace. Bless, 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 bless.